Greetings, Earthlings. Today I'm back with a brand new edition of the Versus series. So today we're going to be comparing Rode's two podcasting or broadcasting microphones, the Rode PodMic and the Rode Procaster to see which one is the best. Now for all of the tests, I will have the microphones connected directly to the 2i2 second gen. I will not do any kind of post-processing, but check the doobly-doo to see how much I boosted in post and what the gain was set at. And now let's briefly talk about the build quality of the mics. So first up, both of the microphones have an all metal construction and feel very well put together. Neither of the microphones have any kind of switches. They are just bare bones, plug and play microphones. You can see that the Rode pod mic is significantly smaller and shorter than the Procaster. But the odd thing here is that the Rode pod mic is quite a bit heavier than the larger Procaster. But regardless, both of the microphones feel very sturdy and I wouldn't really be concerned with either of them. And with all of that being said, now let's jump to the tests. Now I'm speaking into the Rode pod mic and full disclosure, this mic was sent to me by Rode for the sake of doing a review a couple of weeks ago. This microphone will set you back around $100. It has a cardioid polar pattern, a listed frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which I'm not sure if I believe and I'll discuss that a little bit later. It has a sensitivity of around negative 57 decibels, an impedance of 320 ohms, and a weight of 937 grams. And now I'm speaking into the Rode Procaster, which will set you back around $230. This also has a cardioid polar pattern, a listed frequency response of 75 hertz to 18 kilohertz, a sensitivity of around negative 56 decibels, an impedance of 320 ohms, and a weight of only 745 grams. Now I'm speaking into the Rode pod mic, spinning around to 90 degrees to show you the off-axis rejection and coloration. We'll continue around to 180 degrees, show you what it sounds like from the rear. We will continue rotating around to the second 90 degree angle, and then we will rotate and end at the front of the microphone. Now I'm speaking into the Rode Procaster as I move around to 90 degrees to show you the off-axis rejection and coloration. We will rotate around the microphone to 180 degrees, show you what it sounds like from the rear. We will continue rotating around to the second 90 degree angle, and then we will rotate and end at the front. Now let's go ahead and test the plosive rejection of both of these microphones. So right now I'm speaking into the pod mic, and please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. And now let's go ahead and test the plosive rejection of the Rode Procaster. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Now I'm right on top of the Rode pod mic to show you the proximity effect. And now I'm right on top of the Rode Procaster to show you the proximity effect of this microphone. Two feet away from the Rode pod mic and about two feet away from the Procaster. Now I'm talking into the pod mic as I type on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues right behind it to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And now I'm speaking into the Rode Procaster as I type on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues right behind it to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And for you elite gamers, now I am typing on the DAWs keys. Switched it up again. And again, for you lead gamers, now I am typing on the SWAD keys. Got road versus road versus road. Which one is best? Which one is best? Which one is best? 
Yeah, we've got road versus road versus road. Which one is best? Which one is best? Which one is best? Let me know in the comments down below, because I got nothing clever to say right here. And the winner of this Versa series is the Rode Procaster. And of course I will go ahead and explain. But before we get into why I selected the Procaster, I want to address something that I mentioned earlier in the video. And that would be why I don't believe that the Rode Pod mic actually has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Here I've overlaid the frequency response graph of the Procaster and the Pod mic. The Procaster is red and the Pod mic is orange. And you can see that the Procaster extends quite a bit higher into the air frequencies in comparison to the pod mic, but the Procaster only lists a response up to 18 kilohertz. So that alone makes me question the 20 to 20 kilohertz listing of the pod mic. And I just wanted to address that before we go any further, but now let's talk about the actual comparison. When we compare the specs of both mics, they have nearly an identical sensitivity of negative 57 and negative 56, and they both have the same impedance at 320 ohms. So in that department, there is no clear winner. But if we jump back and look at the frequency response graphs again, you can see that the Procaster has a much smoother mid-frequency range with less cuts and less boosts. And additionally, in the presence and treble area, there are no peaks on the Procaster. It's just a very gradual boost, which yields a much smoother sound. And now I'll share my preferences between the two microphones on all the sound sources I tried them on. So on the electric guitar, I would prefer the Rode Procaster even though it is on the verge of being boomy or maybe overpowered in the low end. I simply think that it is just a much more versatile sound. And the reason that I say that is the Procaster has a lot of fullness in the low end and the treble frequencies are just much smoother and less gritty sounding. On the acoustic guitar, again, I would select the Rode Procaster because it has a much warmer tone and more low end. And although it does sound quite a bit darker and it seems like it lacks a bit of detail, I actually just think it's more pleasing on the ear. Then for singing, again, I would pick the Procaster because the smooth treble boost adds some nice clarity to the voice without ever sounding sharp or shrill, but it also maintains some oomph in the low end. It adds some nice body and some nice fullness to it. I really like that over the pod mic. And lastly, for spoken word, we got a clean sweep. I am selecting the Procaster again. And although the Procaster does do a slightly worse job at rejecting plosives, I think that's easily solvable with good microphone technique, just speaking past the microphone instead of directly into it, or you can just get an external pop filter for 10 bucks and that'll solve the problem as well. But when we compare the overall tone of these two microphones, the pod mic just seems to be a little bit lacking in the low end, leading to it sounding a bit top heavy and a little bit gritty. I should note though, if you plan on getting right on top of the Rode pod mic the entire time and really engaging that proximity effect, I think it's an amazing sounding microphone. That's where it really shines, where you bring in a bit of additional low end to offset the treble boost. So when it comes down to it, I just think that ultimately the Procaster is a better sounding and more versatile microphone. It has that additional warmth and body in the low end, and it has a much smoother tone, which is just more pleasing to the ear. But I do understand there is quite a big price discrepancy between these two microphones. So if you're outfitting an entire podcast and you need four microphones, you can get four pod mics for less than the cost of two Procasters. And if you get right on top of the pod mics and really engage that proximity effect, I think they sound absolutely excellent and they're a great entry level podcast mic. All right, that is going to do it for today, but I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Do you agree with my assessment or do you think I'm just a dope? Would you pick the pod mic or the Procaster? If you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a big old thumbs down. Want more videos? Subscribe by clicking the logo beneath me, and I will see you all next time. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye.